classic case of bullying in the NFL. An independent investigation has found that offensive lineman Richie Incognito engaged in a pattern of harassment directed at fellow Miami Dolphin Jonathan Martin. But the report says the bullying on the team went far beyond that, and ABC's Ryan Smith has the story. I do, I do not intend to discuss this matter publicly. Miami Dolphins offensive lineman Jonathan Martin backed up today by a report from the NFL's independent investigator that he was harassed by teammate Richie Incognito. The perfect call on Jonathan Martin. The 144-page report finding Incognito and teammates Mike Pouncey and John Jerry, quote, engaged in a pattern of harassment directed at not only Martin, but also another young Dolphins lineman and a member of the training staff. And on two occasions, Martin contemplated suicide because of his mistreatment by teammates. Well, the report has been highly anticipated for quite a while. This gives us a little bit more context as to what was going on and what led up to that. Among the findings, vulgar sexual comments about Martin's mother and sister, a litany of insults routinely hurled at Martin, including the N-word, and a notebook kept by Incognito where he wrote about, quote, breaking J. Mart. The friendship between Martin and Incognito described in the report as, quote, odd, but seemingly close. Richie would say that they were best friends. They hung out with each other off the field. Um, if you ask Jonathan, Jonathan would say, I just sort of had to deal with this to get to a place where the, the harassment would stop. Overnight, Incognito's lawyer speaking out against the report, claiming it is, quote, replete with errors. And Incognito tweeting Friday, quote, you could not define me in 144 years, let alone 144 pages. Miami Dolphins owner Stephen Ross issued a statement saying in part, quote, I have made it clear to everyone within our organization that this situation must never happen again. And no comment from Martin so far, and Incognito quit Twitter after those last tweets. But why would Martin participate in the off-color joking if it affected him so deeply? The report theorized that he had to go along to get along. According to their psychologist, this reaction is consistent with the behavior of an abuse victim.